news of another armed person and a second lockdown on our campus is concerning. UNC Chapel Hill's chancellor is reacting after a second armed and dangerous person sparks another lockdown on campus. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. This marks the second incident in just the past couple of weeks. Campus police tell us that no shots were fired and no one is hurt, which is good. CBS 17's Galat Malamed is live for us at UNC Chapel Hill. Do we know exactly what led up to this? What have you been able to find out? The chancellor says that this is related to a personnel matter here at Alpine Bagel Cafe, but campus police have not released the motive. You could see here that things were just left behind, still sitting on the table from when this lockdown happened. The chancellor says having a second incident like this in roughly two weeks is concerning and can be traumatic, encouraging the campus community to take advantage of mental health resources. Inside the student union, Cups and Alpine Bagel Cafe wrappers sit left behind from when UNC Chapel Hill went into lockdown. It was really upsetting because, you know, we just went through this. And this is what it looked like outside the student union 15 days ago, a vigil for the professor shot and killed on campus. It saddens me uh, that, uh, that we, we've had two situations in, in a little over two weeks. Campus police chief Brian James says 27-year-old Mikkel Harris threatened and showed a gun to an Alpine Bagel employee on Wednesday, then drove off. No shots were fired. The lockdown message went out at 12.54. That's nine minutes after Chief James says the 911 call came in. Why wasn't it instant? James says officers had to first confirm the situation themselves. <laughs> Sage Clawson and Ben Diazio. It's depressing. Um, but we want we want things to change. For members of March for Our Lives, the group at the General Assembly yesterday pushing for tougher gun control. This second incident just shows that um, we really can't escape it unless our legislators take action and do something um, to make it better. As for changes on campus since the lockdown more than two weeks ago. We heard that uh, many of the community members wanted to have more frequent updates through different uh, means of communication and so uh, we we, we acted on that already, and, and we were able to put that into to play today. Chief James says the department is still reviewing the incident from two weeks ago, but is discussing additional security measures, which could also involve technology upgrades. Many of the things that, that we may implement in the future, uh, just simply, it just hasn't been enough time to implement many new measures. Chapel Hill police arrested Harris on outstanding warrants related to an assault from last week where they say he showed a gun to somebody. As for this incident, campus police continue to investigate it and say charges are pending. Classes are resuming here tomorrow. Live at UNC Chapel Hill, Gilad Malamed, CBS 17 News. Yeah, we're glad no one was hurt. Yeah. All right, Gilad, thank you. We did talk with dozens of other students and employees as police locked down the campus and searched for a suspect. One graduate student describes how they responded when they learned of this emergency. Our office manager came in and said, hey, we're all going to put ourselves over here and we ended up barricading ourselves in the office. We put a heavy desk in front of it. We piled a bunch of heavy papers behind it. Everything we could find that would make it really difficult to enter that door, lock the door and then just sheltered in place there. The university's chancellor is also taking time to thank UNC police and the emergency operations team for managing this situation quickly and, he says, very efficiently. The governor today posted on Facebook about this UNC situation. He said, quote, it's tough to see a second lockdown only a day after some Republican leaders mocked UNC students who were demanding common sense gun reform at the legislature.